This is day two of the queen installation. I opened the hives and I placed the queen cages into the hives. I'll open them up and show them to you. Today, 24 hours later, I'm taking the cork out so that the bees can release the queens. It looks like most of the worms are dispersed. Yesterday while I was out here, the, um, there were still some up in here because there were too many frames stacked in. Like, I'll bet there's some up behind here. Hold on. This one frame didn't get moved. Yep, check them out. They like to hide where it's dark. And those, I believe, are the uh, larva, beetle larva. I think I was wrong about them being wax moths. Although there are some wax moth, moth larva as well, like that one there. So this hive had both going on. There's some wax moth, uh, the nesting webbing. I also made the decision to stack the nukes on top of the hive, hoping, hoping to get some of those bees that are, that were drifting to go into the nukes because they were suffering for a number of bees. I hope it's okay. It's not looking too good right now. Bees are already coming out to check me out. They hate me. They hate my camera. Fly some smoke, just hopefully to calm them down a little bit. I don't know which hive they're coming out of. I just cracked open this one and it's I'm actually encouraged. There's enough bees in here it looks like to take care of that queen. Let's pull that queen cage out and see if right there it is. Pull the queen cage out, see if they're alive, see if the queen is alive, and then we'll pull that cork out. We're going to take one of these frames out to make it a little easier to scoot that queen cage in and out of there. And there's quite a few workers and nurse bees right there. That's looking pretty good. I feel good about that. I wish I had an angle here where I could show you what I'm doing, but I'll just tell you. I'm reaching down in here, supporting this queen cage as I separate the frames. And I'm going to turn it over and check her out, make sure she's still alive. She is. And there's lots of bees on there. I'm hoping that they are feeding her and not trying to kill her. So on this, this um, queen cage, there's a cork on one end here and another cork over here where the candy is. Our goal is to pull this cork out so that they can chew through that candy to release her. Hopefully at this point, 24 hours later, uh, they are accepting her her smell and her pheromones. It's still going to take another day to three days or so to get her out of here. So we're just going to... Pull the cork here. And hopefully you can see that. There's candy down in there. So now... I'm going to attempt to give you a view here. I'm going to place this between these frames again. There we go. I'm going to hold it lengthways here. I'm going to place it down in here between these frames and push these frames together. And the wax of the two frames is going to push up against the sides of that queen cage and hold it in place. Let me get this lid back on here. Pull this one off. Yeah, the number of bees in this one is a little less, but I, I think it's still going to be okay. There's your view of this one here. We're going to take again. I'm going to try to get my fingers down in here to grab that cage and then separate this. And check out to make sure our queen is still alive. And she is. She's still moving around. Can you see her in there? She's got the blue dot on her back. Okay, this is the candy end. So we're going to pull this cork right here. Using my Texas Blake knife. Okay. So that candy is exposed. And those worker bees are going to start start working on that so I'm gonna put that right back in there upside down 
place it in here between the frames and use the friction and the wax of the two frames to hold that up in place. What I'm hoping is that queen gets released real fast and she gets to work and starts laying eggs and the numbers of this hive grow quickly so that uh, we don't have to worry about the pests, the hive beetles and the wax moths and all those things coming in and ruining this, this new hive. Now here's where we're gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit, have a few more bees on us. I don't wanna blow this hot smoke in the hive, I just want it to kinda waft in and under, under the hive. They do like my mask, have you noticed that? One beekeeper's opinion was that because the mask is black. Now this is the one that I took the queen out of last night. That was nerve wracking for me to dig around and find that queen. There's a lot more bees in here. Check my veil. Make sure there's no breeze on my uh, on the back of my pants. These bees really are beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna scoot these frames apart a little bit so I can get to this queen here. Checking to see if she's alive. And she is. She's alive. I really only have one job out here tonight, and that's to get these corks off and these queens put back in here. Oh my goodness, that was bad. I just gave that queen a headache, I think. Oh goodness, I'm sorry. All right, the cork is out. Putting her back in here. So far, so good, feeling good about it. All right, I think tonight was a success. I was worried yesterday that, that the queens would be dead when uh, I put them in the hive. And then today, I guess just my, my concern, my worry, is that they would be dead when I came back out. But they're in there, the bees are around the cages, the queens are still alive. Hopefully everything's okay. I'll come out in um, another few days. I think the recommendation is to leave them alone for seven days. That way they have time to get out and start laying eggs. So I'm gonna come back next week. Today is Thursday, probably next Thursday or Friday or Saturday. You know, give them a week to 10 days and we'll see about uh, what kind of progress these hives are making. And just for observation purposes, hive two, when I opened this the other day was just doing beautifully and they appear to be doing well and I'm standing right in front of the hive and they hate that. Uh, let's see, we're over here at hive four, five, and six. And again, kind of the same thing, same amount of traffic on the front. Hive number uh, five appears to be doing really well. Poor bees, they keep stinging my, my case, my camera case, sacrificing their lives for nothing. I'm sorry. All right, uh, I'm not gonna open any of these tonight because I actually have a party to go to. Tonight is my son's birthday. See you girls, take care of yourself. Oh, another, another visit to the hive. You know what? Some days I feel like a complete failure, like I'm never gonna get this right. And other days, like last night I was actually pretty proud of myself getting, getting in there and finding that queen and and not being terribly, terribly nervous. I was a little nervous. And then also getting those queens installed. I called the beekeeper that sold me the queens and he talked me through a little bit of it. And I felt good that he was there to help. And um, so here tonight, releasing the, actually I didn't release the queens, but popping those corks out. And um, just observing that all five hives, well, all the other four plus these three they're doing really well. I feel sad for number three, but you know, I think in the grand scheme of things, it's gonna be okay. So, I'm headed to the party. It's a double party. My son's birthday and a gender reveal for my second grandchild. I'm excited about that. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say that. Oh well, we'll see what it is. 
and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye. Don't do it. Don't spray yet. Don't spray yet. Wait. You've got to wait. Don't spray yet. Okay. So so what's going on here? The the spray is the is the color of the baby. The color of the baby. Represents the gender. It's blue or pink. It's blue or pink to represent boy or girl. Okay. So we can spray whoever you want to spray. And then we'll know what the baby is. Ready? Spread. One, two, three. Woo! Yeah! That's my granddaughter right there. Woohoo! How exciting! Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Love you. Love you. You're gonna have a baby sister. <laughs>